cancer rates are climbing among young people. While the cancer rates for older people has decreased, younger people are getting cancer. The highest rate was for those in the 15 through 39 years of age. Environmental exposure may have a lot to do with the increases. After all, most of the toxic food production chemicals have been introduced in their lifetime. The same is true for forever chemicals, food additives, plastic in our food, and numerous other toxic substances. It seems that obesity has become more common in childhood and adolescence. It seems obesity contributes to breast cancer and uterine cancer, as well as colorectal cancer and several others impacting the gastrointestinal tract. Much of this has to do with westernized diets, sugar-sweetened beverages, as well as red and processed meat. Once again, we see the introduction of toxic food production chemicals, forever chemicals, food additives, plastic in our food and numerous other toxic substances. As part of our food as possible contributing factors. In addition, overeating sparked by the need for scarce nutrients contributes to obesity. Another contributing factor. These factors can be reduced by the introduction in our diet of organic food. Raised through regenerative agriculture farming methods. We encourage you to read our book How the Food Industry is Killing Us, available everywhere, including for free from your library.